this camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we prophesied to see the vibe for this camp life. This camp life. Boost lace, you know we came to ride. All on your block, don't care about the ops. This truth is do or die. Come crown the kings and watch how we bleed. We here 365. While you and your dreams, we on the scene, saving our people's lives. Oh. One time to be alive when it's going down. I got both eyes on the same prize. If you try to build, then it's hammer time. Okay, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. When you read Joshua, Edomites didn't go into Egypt. They went into Mount Seir. The children of Jacob went into Egypt. So how can he bring someone into Egypt again with ships unless you already came from Egypt? It was our people who was in Egypt by ships. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. So this the prophecy that we were going to go back into Egypt, which only means slavery, bondage. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Our homeland, Jerusalem. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Did we get sold unto different nations, Craig? Anastasia, did blacks, Hispanics, and natives get sold to different nations? Yes or no? Yes, we did. So who is this, who is this passage about, Craig? Because this didn't happen to the Jewish, the Chinese. The Japanese, the Filipinos, Hawaiians. Bring it up. This didn't happen to this didn't happen to all nations of people. It only happened to blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Bring so who is the Bible talking to here, Craig? No. Anastasia, who is the Bible talking to? It's talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And ye shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. It just said we were going to be sold, but no man will buy us. That only meant nobody will redeem us except the black Messiah. Marcus Garvey tried it. A lot of black people, Martin Luther King, they tried it. The Brown Berets, the Black Panthers. But nobody can redeem us except for Christ. That's why we have to keep these laws. That's why the Bible reads this. Give me Luke 1 and 68. Christ is coming back to redeem his people. What do the Jewish man has to be redeemed for? He owns, he owns the TV networks. He owns the houses. Hell, how does the Jewish man own power when you're supposed to be God chosen people? But you push pornography, which goes against God's laws. So what nation has to be redeemed? Nobody but the blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Anastasia, why does it keep saying Israel, 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 Israel? Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. We are the ones who are going to be redeemed. That's right. Now, Craig, you said you've been watching. You've been watching videos. You know you're an Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because we're going to walk through this step of repentance and we're going to go over some laws. And I see you got that beard. Keep that thing grown out. We're going to go over repentance and we're going to go over these laws. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. And now who? And now Israel. Other nations? And now Israel. Again, the Bible's only talking to Israel because we told you about pants and you said that was that was modest what you're doing. But if you was of God and we told you these scriptures, you would say, hey, I'm going to go buy a dress. But now we're going to see your spirit, Craig, to Bring see if you're walking to these laws. And now who? And now Israel. Now Craig, a black man, an Israelite. Bring it out. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Let's see what God requires of his people. But to fear the Lord thy God, because you fear his, his judgments from behind breaking his laws, to walk in all his ways. You're going to walk in these scriptures that we're about to bring out. And to love him. You love God, that means you're going to keep his laws. And to serve the Lord thy God, you're going to keep his high holy days, not Easter. That's not of the Bible. That was of a white man's custom. We. With all thy heart, with all your mind, because according to Mark 7 and 21, your heart is your mind. That's what does the thinking. Read. And with all thy soul, the same thing. To keep his commandments. At the bottom line of it, it's keep God's commandments. So now, you probably don't know all the commandments. Damn, what have I done? I've been breaking commandments. Well, go to 1 Kings 8, and we're going to show you how to repent and come back and keep his commandments. By you standing here listening, that is the first process to repentance. That is the first process to baptism. Hearing his word. You don't have to be washed and dipped in water. You hear his word, you receive it, you act on it, you are baptized, Craig. 
Look it up. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 46. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee, but there is no man that sinneth not. If they sin against thee, because we sin. I was once like you, Craig. I didn't have my fringes. I was whoring out our women. I was dealing with other nations. I was walking around with 12 gay shotguns, just had murder on my mind. If they sin against thee, read, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. Wait a minute. Even Solomon know that we were going to go into slavery, just like Moses. So everybody that came after the Bible, even later times, they picked up the Old Testament and continued to read. The Old Testament is not done away with. Christ only came to do away with temple laws and sacrificial laws and your tithes for you greedy bastards. Read what you got. So that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy. Uh -huh. For or near America, we still have slaves that's in Africa that's still close to Jerusalem. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Craig, now you've been thinking yourself because you're standing amongst the prophet hearing like, damn, I am a prophet. Now I'm bethinking myself. Read. In the land whither they were carried captive, right in America where we got carried away captive. And if they don't want you to leave, they revoke your passport. They say you need another COVID shot, you can't go anywhere. If they want you to stay refined to the quarters of your own home, they put martial law and they put a tank in front of your house and say, don't move, nigga, or we will kill you. And it's justified. We are still in captivity regardless what big skin you throw around, how high your status you get up. This is still captivity. Bring it out. And repent. Repent. So, Craig, how do you repent? Give me that Romans 12 and 2. Because we read it, we're going to show you. Romans 12 and 2 will show you how to repent. There's many things that we got to let go. Romans 12 and 2. So we're going to get into that repentance process. All right? Because to repent means to what? Just in your mind, what do you think it means? To repent. Turn away. And what are we turning away from? We're turning away with sin, which is the breaking of God's laws. It's the transgression of God's laws. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See that, Anastasia? We can't be conformed to pants because a sister came up with that and her cousin, Emilia Bloomer, they got it from the Turkish. She said, oh, feminist movement. We can wear pants now. That started in the 1800s. Women never wore pants when you look in the movies. You understand that, Craig? Because we're not supposed to be walking around looking at the backside of a woman and lusting after her. So we got to turn away from these worldly customs. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind, your heart, your soul. Read. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect Will of God. That's a lot of stuff in there, precepts we could go to. We, we just going to break it down with Psalms 19 and 7. Because the will of God is his laws. What's good, Romans 7 and 12, is his laws. But we're going to show you what converts you. It's the laws. And Anastasia, you made a question. You say we're reading out of the, the, the Old Testament. Baruch 4 and 1 said the book of the law. The book of the law. Wherever we read about the law, that book is justified according to Christ because it's speaking about the law. So again, you blacks, Hispanics, and natives, you run away from this Old Testament. You don't believe in the Bible. You're running after your own lust. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. Is what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. What is it going to do for you, Craig? Converting the soul. It's going to convert your soul. That's why we keep the laws. That's why we put on fringes. That's why we stop holding out our sisters. That's why we don't follow holidays. We follow God's holy days. That's why there's no hatred amongst my brother because he corrected me. Now I don't want to deal with him. Dude, step on my shoes and I want to shoot up the whole club. That's hatred. That's not lawful. Go back to 1 Kings. Because now we're going to show you how you pray and repent. And then we're going to jump straight into these laws. All right, you understand that? Because how do you pray? We know how to repent. You got to keep the laws. But how do you pray? Quick. Some of us learned this, right? This possibly came from when we had our hands shackled. And we threw them up. And we pray like that. But we're going to see exactly how our forefather, one of the wisest men next to Christ, taught our people how to pray. Read the book of First Kings, chapter 8, verse 22. And Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord. So now he stood in the presence of all the congregation of Israel. And spread, by the way, he stood in the presence of the congregation of who? And stood in the presence of the congregation of Israel. Anastasia, you heard that? The Bible's still talking about only Israel. Craig, the Bible is only for your people. None of these other nations should be mixed in it. Read. 
and spread forth his hands towards heaven. So you can stand up and spread forth your hands. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 54. And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar from the Lord, from kneeling on his knees. So now you can stand, you can kneel, or you can and have your hands spread. But let's see what he prayed. Jump up to verse 52. Verse 52. That thine eyes may be opened. I'm sorry, verse 48. Verse 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Again, your soul. With their, all their soul. In the land whither they were carried of their enemies. Which led them captive. And pray unto, unto thee towards their land. Where's your land, Craig? Because this ain't it. We've got brought over here into slavery. We are just descendants from our, our slave foremothers and forefathers. Remember I told you we have never seen our land again. Where is your land? Israel, which is in Africa. Give me that in Galatians, what's that, 426? Yep. We're going to show you it because we don't want to say anything and they say, well, them niggas in purple just on the corner saying what they want. No, we are going to teach the Bible. And if you have a question, the scripture said, debate your cause. Read the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem, which is above is free, is the mother of us all. That's what our land was. And when you go into the law in Deuteronomy, I think it's 18 and 19, it tells you that you should remove no man landmark. But what happened to our lands? And now we're asking for 40 acres in the middle? That's what we asked for? Wait. You understand what I'm saying? But we have to turn away and not worry about those things and focus on the law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.